Uh, my name is Jared Horman. I am a artist, muralist, and graphic designer living in Kansas City, Missouri. So my artistic background came, um, has pretty much been since I started, like, as a little kid, I always would like sketch and doodle, um, and would focus, would do that more than like take notes or pay attention in class, um, and pretty much all through school was always like being told like, hey, stop drawing, even in like, um, art class I was probably like doing my own doodle versus like following um, what the art teacher particularly wanted. Um, and so it wasn't until I got to art school um, or I went to Missouri State and studied graphic design that uh, my teachers kind of started telling me like, oh, those doodles, what you've been like doing on the side all the time, if you kind of start to refine that and take that, you can actually make art out of that. And you can, you can take that and use those strong lines and those shapes um, and you can use that in both the design and the art world. Uh, so that's kind of my art trajectory. Uh, so my queer identity influences my art um, in a lot of ways. It's almost subconscious at this point. Um, a lot of my work, actually, people will tell me, like, I see this gay thing in what you did, and, like, that wasn't even an intentional thing. Um, for example, I uh, um, have done a series of, like, shuttlecock drawings, um, and one of them, I deconstructed a shuttlecock, and so it was, like, the feather and the ring and, like, the, the base of it, and someone was like, oh, that's, like... BDSM, it's like a, a cock ring, a cock ring, and like a feather, and all this, and like I didn't see that at all, but like it's just kind of imbued in my work a little bit. So I started drawing chess pieces in the fall of 2018 as well. Um, I was doing an Inktober series, kind of on things that I loved, that I kind of felt like were nerdy about me a little bit. Um, so like board games and like fantasy and all that. And I drew um, this sort of like chess orgy of all the the pieces, um, just hanging out and. After drawing it, I looked at it and I was like, I actually see a lot more in the symbolism of these chess pieces. So queerness is pretty much what I handle a lot of with my chess pieces so far. Um, so this one, I for me, the knight uh, and the horse kind of represents homosexuality to me. Um, uh, I really liked horses growing up and it was one of the things that weirdly for me told me I was gay, um, that like, other gay people that I knew or or women that like I identified with um, were the people that liked horses and like horses weren't like this masculine thing um, to me growing up uh, and so the night to me kind of symbolizes that um, and that my my sexual identity um, so this painting is a little bit of that struggle of like trying to identify with my masculinity and my and my sexuality and sort of the that conflict that I had growing up. Most of my chess pieces are sort of that struggle that queer people have. Um, uh, I feel like trying to process what that looks like um, is is kind of what I'm going through with the chess the chess pieces and the conflict that they have. In the game of chess, those two sides, um, each one trying to come out um, come out on top is 100% what I'm, I'm struggling with in my art as well. I mean, something else that I liked about the chess pieces and why I started working with them even before um, uh, the Black Lives Matter got a lot of, Black Lives Matters got a lot of the um, press that it's getting right now is because of that racial conflict. And it's something that uh, in college, I, I worked a lot to like help better the experience of international students. Um, and it's been something that I've been passionate about for a while that like it's systemic racism has continued to exist and like there has always been this black and white conflict um, and that, I, that, that hasn't gone away and so I kind of want to continue to challenge that, that perspective um, in my chess pieces. So after the murder of George Floyd, uh, it shook me as a queer person that another minority group uh, is and has been systemically um, uh, attacked. The news came out about George Floyd and I painted um, the rook, um, the symbol of safety, of protection, um, as the cop that is um, kneeling on an unarmed man that hasn't, um, an unarmed king uh, that hasn't done anything wrong. Everyone should have stepped in and, and done something um, and this it could have been prevented and I think that's that's what I want um, as queer people or just as people um, that like we we need to step up and do something and that's what I'm hoping these paintings challenge people to think about.
I'm really excited to show my work in the LGBTQ plus exhibition at the Inner Urban Art House, and I'm very grateful for this opportunity to um, present my work to you all. Uh, hope you like it.